Howdy. So in this problem, we are faced with the following situation. We have uh, a description. So in the in 1964, in D, 1964 Tokyo Olympics. The best men's high jump was two meters and 18 uh, centimeters. Uh, so in this one, the person uh, doesn't have any help. Uh, so it's unaided and jumps over uh, the bar. So the distance or the height, I don't know how to call it, the height was 2.18 meters. Four years later, in the 1968 uh, Mexico City uh, Olympics, the gold medal went to Tokyo and Mexico to the guy who jumped 224. So the altitude is different. In Mexico City, it is 2,400 meters. And well, Tokyo, it's the, the Japanese islands are pretty close to, well, they have their volcanoes and everything, but it must be fairly close to uh, sea level. Okay, so there's a, there's a pretty big difference in the altitude. And that results in a change in the acceleration due to gravity. So this will be, say, the acceleration due to gravity in Mexico City minus the acceleration due to gravity in Tokyo. And this is given in the problem. It is 0 0.01. Meters per second squared. Okay, so suppose that some high jumper with a mass of 72 kilograms performs the same jump in Tokyo and in Mexico City. So the initial velocity in Tokyo is equal to the initial velocity in Mexico City, which can just call the initial velocity. And that's what we are told, okay? So for part A of this problem, it says compare uh, his mass, so the mass of the jumper, and weight in the two locations. So that when it's easy, we know that force is equal to mass times acceleration. The special force that is produced by gravity, by the acceleration due to gravity, we call that a weight, right? So the weight is just mass times the acceleration due to gravity. So the weight um, The difference in weight is going to be equal to the mass times the acceleration due to gravity in Mexico City. Actually, in this case, Tokyo might be better because Tokyo will make that positive um, minus the mass times the acceleration due to gravity in Mexico City. So this is just the mass, which doesn't change, times the acceleration due to gravity in the two cities. And we are even this number is 0 0.01. This one, I should put Tokyo. Uh, 
because Tokyo has a larger acceleration due to gravity. So this makes it positive. So that's 0 0.01 times the mass. And 72 kilograms times 0 0.01 meters per second squared. So the change, the difference in the weight of the person in the two um, in the two cities is 0 0.72 newtons. So kilogram times meter divided by second squared. So that's the first part. It's pretty easy. You know, it's just the mass times the, the difference in the acceleration due to gravity. All right, let's look at the other one. For part B, Assume that the jumper is able to jump with the same initial velocity in both locations and that all other conditions are the same except for gravity. How much higher should he be able to jump in Mexico City? Well, and we know that velocity squared is equal to initial velocity squared plus two times the acceleration and the displacement times the displacement. The velocity at the very top, it is a turning point. So it's equal to zero final velocity. And we want to know this, uh, I'm gonna call this delta x, I'm gonna call it uh, h, height, right? And this uh, acceleration uh, is gonna be gravity. So minus, uh, G. Okay, and we want to know this this height. It's actually the height difference, but we need to you know the height as a function of the initial velocity. So minus um, initial velocity squared divided by negative two G. The negatives go away. So we have velocity squared divided by 2g, that's equal to the height. So the difference in the height is going to be, let's see, the height's going to be higher in Mexico City. So let's put Mexico City first. Initial velocity in Mexico City squared divided by 2 gravity in Mexico City minus initial velocity in Tokyo squared divided by twice the acceleration due to gravity in Tokyo. You know that the initial velocity is actually the same in both places. So we can get rid of that distinction. The two is also the same. So this is equal to initial velocity squared divided by two times one over the acceleration due to gravity in Mexico City minus one over the acceleration due to gravity in Tokyo. So this one over here is going to be acceleration in Tokyo minus acceleration in Mexico City divided by the product. Right, we're just doing that operation. So let me put it in there. The order doesn't matter. So I'm going to put uh, down here, it's just a product. So I'm going to put Tokyo and Mexico. This is just so that I can point out to you that this part over here is the height in Tokyo. This is initial velocity. So we can rewrite that. So it's the change 
in the height is going to be the height in Tokyo. And this is just the difference in G, which we were given also. 0 0.01 meters per second squared. And we divided by the acceleration due to gravity in Mexico City. Okay, so we know right. Okay. So this height in Tokyo, it's in the problem. It was 2.18 meters and then the delta g is also given 0 0.01 meters per second squared and we're going to divide by GM. So we don't know exactly what the acceleration to gravity in Mexico City is going to be, but you know, worst case scenario is like 2.79 meters per second squared. So the point is that it's not going to make a huge difference in our estimate. So I'm just going to say that it's 9.8 meters per second squared. So then this gives us. Actually, you know, we can even say 10. Doesn't make a, a huge difference. So in that case, it's gonna be um, 2.18 times 0 0.01, 0 0.0218 meters squared divided by second squared. And over here we can say 10 uh, meters per second squared. So I can get rid of the second squares. One of the meters goes away. We have units of meters, which is good because that's what we're looking for. And so this one we divided again by 10 and we get, um, And I guess I'm going to put it over here. Zero point zero zero two one eight meters. So let's call this two point two. And we move this point over here by three spaces so that we can express it as 2.2 times 10 to the negative three meters. And this is equal to millimeters. So the, the difference in the height that you will expect from Tokyo and Mexico City is 2.2 uh, millimeters. So the problem also says that the reason for the big change between uh, Tokyo in 64 and Mexico City in 68, it was the introduction of the uh, Fosbury flop. So Fosbury was the dude who invented this new way of jumping, who probably didn't invent it, but he, you know, he, um, mastered it and popularized, popularized it after winning in, in Mexico City. So, you know, in 64, you had sand on the other side of the, of the bar for people jumping. And so they couldn't really land on their backs. It would have been dangerous. But in 68, they introduced foam, like really good foam, right? And so now uh, this dude, uh, Fosbury, 
he started jumping, you know, basically going, um, he was uh, his back facing down while jumping, crossing the bar, and he could land on his back. And it was not dangerous anymore. And this new way of jumping um, is better, you know, for, for height jump than the previous one. And so that's why he was able to win this competition um, probably kind of handily, you know, even putting uh, a new world record. So I think all the high jumpers use this technique now, at least, you know, at, at the elite level. So cool. I hope you enjoyed this problem. <laughs>